Hi, I'm Lynn from Mutiny Ranch, a farm animal rescue and sanctuary in southwest Colorado. In addition to our rescue donkeys, goat, miniature horse, pot pigs, llama, and turkeys, we also have four rescue dogs in various sizes and shapes. So today I thought I'd share with you my favorite dog harnesses because if you're anything like me, you've probably done a lot of research and maybe even spent a lot of money looking for dog harnesses that actually fit well, are comfortable for the dog, and provide some safety. We have tried several different kinds of harnesses. A lot of them uh, worked okay, but they didn't fulfill all the needs that we desired. A few months ago, I came across this brand, which is called Kurgo. And this particular harness is called the True Fit Smart Harness. I went ahead and ordered a few to test them out, all in different sizes, because like I said, we have different sized dogs. This is the large harness that we use for Happy. All of the harnesses are built using the same engineering as rock climbing harnesses. So they're really well built. The nylon is actually a really super soft, uh, flexible material. They all come with two points of contact for leashes. So um, there's a leash attachment that is on the back of the harness for traditional use. And there's also one, a metal D-ring on the front of the harness at the chest that can be used if you have a dog that's, uh, that pulls a lot on the leash. One thing I really like about these Kurgo harnesses is all of the hardware is metal. It's stainless steel, and it may look a little bit difficult because we're so used to the little snap-in plastic snaps on harnesses, but these are just nesting buckles and they fit easily together and then they're very secure. It has five points of adjustment so that you can get a custom fit for almost any dog. Even though all the hardware is metal, they're still very lightweight. The chest plates are nicely padded but not too bulky and they seem to fit really well on all of our dogs, which is saying something considering the different sizes and shapes of each dog. And then this is the extra small for Nelly. And once again, it's sized down appropriately. The webbing is also sized down. So you can see how thick uh, the large is compared to the extra small. And then the hardware is also sized down. So it's less bulk on a little bitty dog. Every single harness comes with a tether and carabiner. And like I said, these are climbing rated. These carabiners are used to attach the harness to a seatbelt system in a vehicle. The harnesses were crash tested by the University of Buffalo. Tests were done on dogs up to 75 pounds and 30 miles an hour impact. Um, so they are crash test rated. So I do realize a lot of us drive on roads with speed limits higher than that, but there is some peace of mind in knowing that my dog's still safely attached and can't wander around the back of the vehicle. Another thing that I like to look for when I'm trying out products, especially something that can be expensive and that uh, is gonna get used a lot, is that these come with a lifetime warranty for any manufacturer defect. And that's also saying a lot for a company that will stand behind their harnesses so let's go see these harnesses in action. I will show you how they fit on each of the dogs and we'll go for a quick little walk and then I'll show you how they attach inside the vehicle and secure to the seatbelt system. So I'm out here with Happy. We'll go ahead and get his harness on. His is a size large and it just basically slips right over his head. The chest plate will be in front. And then these buckles come up on either side and like I showed you before they just slip right through and rest and kind of lock in place you want to be able to slide a couple fingers around the collar part and the harness part if you think it's too uh, loose you can easily slide the adjustment parts to tighten it up or loosen it, whichever needs to happen. So this is Nellie, our little seven pound Chihuahua mix. She wears a size extra small. And same thing, we're gonna have the chest plate in front. Her head will go through the two straps. 
this strap will come through the back and then these just easily slide through and nest into themselves and then she is also ready to go so exactly like happy's harness it has the <laughs> the d-ring back here for walking on the harness or the d-ring in front she's all ready to go So Happy's going to be our model. Uh, like I said before, every harness comes with a tether and carabiner, and I'll show you how that works on the seatbelt. Since Happy's a big guy, what we're going to do with the carabiner, first we're going to buckle the seatbelt in. And then I'm going to pull as much of the seatbelt out as I can. And I'm going to take the carabiner and wrap it around both the lap belt and the seat belt and then run the carabiner through the loop of the tether so that it can be up nice and high where he's at. This is actually going to go through the webbing of the harness, so not through the D-ring, but the actual webbing. On most vehicles, when you pull the seat belt all the way out and it retracts back in, it'll lock. So this seat belt's now locked. And so he can sit up comfortably but still be completely attached to the seatbelt. So if I have to slam on my brakes or get into a car accident, he's not gonna go flying out the windshield. It's just a good thing to remember that the system was tested on a 75 pound dog going 30 miles an hour. And like I said before, we're probably all driving on roads that have higher speed limits than that. So there are limitations to this system, but it also keeps your dog secure. So if I have the windows down, or somebody approaches the car, uh, or I go through a drive through Happy is secured here. He's not going to be able to fall out the window or lunge at somebody. Not that he would, but he just won't have that option. He also can't just jump into the front seat, you know, and distract me while I'm driving. So that's one of the main reasons I really like the Kurgo harnesses. So let me show you how it works with Nellie. Since she's a little bit smaller, it might be easier to see. With her, I would just take the seatbelt and buckle it in. And then once again, take the carabiner that comes with the harness, put your hand through the loop, and then thread that carabiner through the, both seat belts. So you have both seat belts wrapped around this, and then this carabiner is just going to hook right to the web nylon webbing of the harness. So not through the D-ring, it's through the, the webbing. You can once again pull the seatbelt all the way out. When it retracts, it'll lock into place. And then she's all ready to go. So I hope this video explains exactly why I like the True Fit Kurgo harness for all of my dogs now. You'll find a link below along with a 20% off coupon code. Feel free to use that and pass it along. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe. I'll be sharing other tips and products that we use around our farm here. And we'll catch you on the next video.